If you are in the information security community, you've probably heard of Mike Taggart and Matt Keeley or Husky Hacks. And I am super honored and flattered and just ecstatic to help share and announce and introduce Husky Hacks latest course, Responsible Red Teaming. Responsible Red Teaming has this super cool tagline. It says, operate with honor. And it's going to be released on the Taggart Institute for free on November 21st, which if I'm actually uploading this according to schedule is today. This video is gonna chat a little bit about the curriculum, the actual content, the material all present in the course, and especially the capstone challenge, which I think is awesome. But first, a little bit of background, a little bit of context. Responsible red teaming is all about the morality, the ethics, the responsibility that you have as a red teamer, as an operator, to do the right thing in the middle of an engagement or an assessment. It's following the rules of engagement. It's knowing your scope in and out. It is doing the right thing with the command and control framework that you use, whether or not you're keying your malware or payloads to the exact environment that's required and necessary so you don't have some unintentional blast radius or unintended consequences for the work that you do. It is all about responsible red teaming, hence the name. And I know this sounds a little bit high level, but seriously, it is all intermingled and mixed in with real hands-on technical work. You're operating inside of a virtual machine. You're working through labs. You're doing exercises to keep that moral compass in line, operate with honor, right, and do the right thing. And don't take my word for it, because look, this is not my baby, this is Husky Hacks, and I wanna let him have the stage, give him the spotlight to chat a little bit about what he put together here, because it is phenomenal, so I'll let it take it away. Please roll the clip for Husky Hacks. There is a ton of fantastic red team training today that will teach you the technical aspects of how to be a red teamer, how to set up C2 infrastructure, how to develop payloads, but I find that it misses something and something is left out of the conversation. Responsible red teaming is my attempt to facilitate a conversation in our field about how we think about our ethical frameworks when it comes to red teaming and what we consider to be right and wrong and how to imbue responsibility into our day-to-day -day activities as red teamers so we never impart undue risk to our clients and their data. And I do want to shine the spotlight and showcase some love for the Taggart Institute. Uh, their mission statement is just chef's kiss. It says the Taggart Institute exists to provide low cost, high quality technology training to people in a supportive and welcoming environment. That is just the perfect manifesto. It is information, education, knowledge out and about for free for everyone. And God, I love it. The Taggart Institute also has a super cool tagline, their little slogan and caption. They say, we believe you can succeed. The hardest step is taking the first step. Join us and see how much you're capable of. Man, that is some sweet inspiration and motivation. I'm ready to get rocking. If you take a look online, if you scroll through the Taggart Institute, there's this really cool uh, aura, right? There's an unspoken curriculum about creating hackers with great moral fiber and like having the right tuned moral compass. I think it's awesome to keep that ethical conscious uh, with everything that you're learning because great hackers make for great people. So let me chat a little bit about the course content. We get started with a module right on ethics, legality, of course, responsibility and responsible red teaming. I think we're just kind of dipping the toes in the water uh, and then we get into those real principles. The guiding foundation that makes up this whole field here. And then you're getting into just like real hands-on labs, checking out terminal logging, using elk, using Yara rules for detection and actual defense, the actual other end of, you know, creating great malicious payloads and offensive security tooling that needs to augment and supplement blue teams just as well. It's not all red teaming. It's that purple team aspect where we're working to improve the security landscape together getting into responsible infrastructure design, using redirectors, knowing client data, whether or not that's actually being transferred out across the wire, making sure that it's encrypted and secure and safe, even if it's like your reverse shell, your cheesy callback, your beacon and implant, look, that needs to be taken care of with caution. And they dive into that with C2. They get into that with command and control frameworks, and that is super duper cool to just note all the payloads that you use, keying and execution guardrails, all these things that can keep you in the clear and responsible 
keeping track of rules of engagement, scope, and everything necessary. Everything that is absolutely vital, especially with malware. Responsible malware emulation is another challenge or hands-on activity. And then you get into the report, debriefing, and actually making these points matter, like showcasing the impact to the stakeholders, but not doing it the wrong way and ruffling feathers and making a tizzy and people get angry with pitchforks, right? Ultimately, this is all wrapped together in a capstone, in a choose your own adventure. That's one of the coolest things to me. It's a choose your own adventure where your choices matter. You're going through an engagement, simulating and working through like a real life activity exercise assessment here. But what choices you make depend and tweak and turn the outcome of the scenario. It's like literally what you do makes a difference in how the world unfolds. Like if you make a decision that, oh, unintentionally, even unknowingly, just skirts outside the edge of the rules of engagement, you're done. It's over. You fail. And that's the coolest thing. There are good endings. There are bad endings. There are mediocre, adequate, or sufficient endings. But you want to be targeting and going for that great success, a win in responsible red teaming. And again, this is all mixed together with a hands-on lab, with a virtual machine, with real on-the-keyboard technical work. It's just mixed and blended so, so well together with a story, with a choose-your-own-adventure narrative that you get to make all the logic decisions and branch out to tell the right story, tell the best story, and get that good ending. If you make the wrong choice, it's game over. And while this is just a game, right, this is just a simulation and emulation, it's great to know that what you learn here can be taken into real life, where it's not just a game anymore, and all those decisions, all those choices, they really matter. So if this sounds interesting to you, jump in. Go online, taggartinstitute.org. Again, completely free. And the Taggart Institute has so much other great stuff. They include this right here. Hey, all the featured courses right now are totally free and accessible. And this capstone for the Responsible Red Teaming course is what puts you to the test. And I hope acts as a pretty nice teaser to know all the things that you're gonna get into as you explore this course. And you got nothing to lose, it's free. Hey, as we start to close this thing out, please let me add the disclaimer. This is not a sponsored video. Like I'm a huge fan of all the great stuff that Husky Hacks does, that Taggart does, and I think this Taggart Institute is a great initiative, and the whole responsible red teaming idea, just keeping track of that moral compass, knowing what's ethically correct and wrong, I just love that, and I think that's awesome. And it's all for free. It's information that you should have, that I should have. So there's no compensation either for the crew that put this together, or for me. Like. I don't want this to be like some weird thing where, oh, you're just trying to make some shill and sales pitch. No, I think it's just great information and it's something that everyone needs to take a little bit more seriously because it's important and it matters. Your choices matter. And that's why I hope you do dive in to the Responsible Red Teaming course dropping today, November 21st on taggartinstitute.org. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoy the course and material, and I hope to hear all about it, all the great stuff that you get to do and the sweet stuff that you learn. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.